As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. Today is Monday in the fourth week of Lent. Our Mass intention is for the birthday of Gladys Sanchez and the repose of the soul of Carolina Windsor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to conversion, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your Church may be guided by your eternal design, and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy, and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exalt in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build, and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear, and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the nether world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Gana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, 
Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. He told him, The fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In time marked by uncertainty, we have the example of the official who believed the word of Christ even before he saw the effects of what his prayer was for. He prayed for his son and still insisted that the Lord come visit him, and the Lord simply said to him, Go, your son will live. And so he went, and again on the way his son is healed. On the way, on the way that we walk in faith. And the first opening prayer, the collect of today, reinforces, yes, our faith, as it says that your church may be guided by your eternal design. So even though we don't know uh, what the future holds sometimes, we do know, right, that God has a design, an eternal design. But we are not left simply to think, well, things will be better in the future, but says, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. So we trust in the Lord, in his plan, in his future plan, but we also trust in the Lord and he helps us even now in this present time. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, 
Osana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, Mother, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and in graciously you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
I will place my spirit within you and make you walk according to my laws. And my judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal through Christ our Lord. Thank you for tuning in to this Mass. I also want to remind you that here at St. Anthony's, we're working on finding a good way to help some parishioners to hear confessions and also uh, to set up uh, some virtual uh, adoration. Yes, uh, and so we're still working on that, but that is coming soon. So please uh, stay on top of this um, channel for any further updates. We're also working on a, a flock note. That way we can kind of communicate better through the phones as well and that's upcoming as well. So please uh, keep us in your prayer. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you so much for all those who called about donating. That way we can kind of keep uh, our employees um, on staff and also uh, to help pay for any bills that we may have. Thank you so much. God bless you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord. And since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May mighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke whom we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Terribius, pray for us. St. Anthony, our patron, pray for us. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, Pray for us, and sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us.